Hello and welcome back to GCSE and A Level Physics Online. My name is Anna, I am in year 13 studying A Level Maths, Further Maths, Physics and Economics. I'm taking my A Levels at the moment. I have a YouTube channel and a study gram which are all linked down below so please go and check those out. Today I'm going to be talking to you about exam technique for paper 3. Um, and if you're in year 13 it is about a week away until we are taking our paper 3 um, exam so I just wanted to share my exam techniques with you for that paper. There's no particular order to these tips and techniques, I've just got them written in a list down here, hence why I'm looking down just to make sure I share all of my tips with you and don't forget anything. The first issue that a lot of people have with paper 3 is time management, especially with section A, so my advice would be spend 70 minutes maximum um, on section A, that is the recommended time. Do not spend any more than that. If you're doing section A first, after 70 minutes, move straight onto section B. If you missed anything out, come back to it. If you do have bad time management, I'd actually do section B first. Section B is um, your option. It's all content based, at least for AQA. It's basically just regurgitating what you've already learned. So you should be able to get through that super quickly. Whereas section A tests a lot more. It's not necessarily about what you know, it's about more applications that will may take longer so do section B first if you're struggling with time management. For section A what I like to do um, is skim read the questions first before reading the massive chunk of text at the start of each question um, because then you know what you need to hone in on um, because sometimes it's quite overwhelming you get this massive chunk of text you read through it all um, and sometimes that could even be a waste of time because you get, could get to the question and forget how that relates to the text so have to read the text all over again so definitely just skim read the questions before reading the text. Most of the tips are for section A by the way just because that is the more difficult section. Learn your practical skills basics so learn how to work out uncertainties, learn how to work out a gradient, learn how to work out percentage error in your gradient. I'm sure there are lots of videos and articles online that tell you all of your practical basics. If you do required practicals as well, of course you'll probably have all of that in there. Another tip I'd give is know how to match your required practical equations to graphs. For example, um, I've picked out here um, AQA required practical 2, which is the Young's double slit um, practical. Of course that relates to the equation W equals lambda D over S. In that experiment, you will have S on the y-axis and D on the x-axis. You'd rearrange the equation, W equals lambda D over S, um, to make S equals lambda over W times D. Therefore, the gradient of the graph is lambda over W. W is a known value, so from that, um, you can times the gradient by W and you'll get your value for lambda. I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm sure if you ask your teacher they can explain it in a better way and um, you've done this sort of analysis in your required practicals so read through that um, it's definitely worthwhile knowing because they may give you um, an experiment that you haven't done and from one of the equations that you do know um, you have to plot a graph you have to work out a gradient things like that that is a very common question my final tip um, is to use a sharp pencil when you are drawing graphs Use a sharp pencil because you may lose marks if you draw a line of best fit that's like fluffy or not drawn with a ruler when it's supposed to be. Obviously with a curve you can't draw that with a ruler. You do it freehand but please, please, please use a sharp pencil. It's easy mark. I think that is all my tips. Not many tips but please do comment your own paper 3 exam technique down below because I'd be interested to hear that. I want to learn how to do um, paper three as effectively as possible please also subscribe to my channel and this channel we'd really appreciate that and like this video if you enjoyed it